Beyond Today viewer sent us a question, is it right for Christians to watch horror movies and ghost television series? It's a good question. Often it comes in because we deal with such topics on Beyond Today. The simple answer and the direct answer is no, it's not right. It's not right for a Christian. I don't think it's right for a person of any faith or anyone for that matter to engage in any degree in the movies, media, culture, uh, all that we have today dealing with the occult, whether it's witchcraft, sorcery, vampires, or whatever the dark side of life might present to us. I think that whenever we get involved in that, that we are allowing something to enter into our lives that is of a different realm and a different kingdom, and something we should not have anything to do with because it is a very, very real presence. I, I think the thing we forget is we confuse entertainment with reality sometimes. And the occult is real. And over and over and over again, the Bible deals with the occult and says this is something we can't have any part in. We cannot partake in those kinds of things. And so Christ dealt with demons. He cast out demons. He told us that we have to avoid witchcraft and sorcery at all costs. And so is that something that we should say, well, it's okay if it's entertainment? And I think we confuse that, and we've got to come to the fact to realize that it's not acceptable. Yeah, so much of the, the occult and the dark side of this spiritual kingdom of darkness that the Bible talk, uh, references is treated today as something that's, as you say, Steve, part of entertainment, uh, innocuous. It's uh, kind, you know, kind of uh, just innocent. No, it's not innocent, not in any degree. Not to any uh, length should a, should a person allow that to come into their lives. I think when you look into the Bible, you will see that God condemns every form of sorcery, witchcraft, dealing with the, the occult or this kingdom of darkness that it describes, and it is associated with every evil work, and God has nothing to good to say about it. No, he doesn't. In fact, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, don't forget what we're up against. You know, as God's people, as Christians, he says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. So, so we don't want to soft sell that. That is a real thing, and we are fighting spiritual forces of evil. And so we don't want to accept that into our life in any way. Not at all. And, you know, I know this is going to offend some viewers, and some are going to get rankled at, at this because it's, again, become such a, a, a dominant part of our culture, and it's not looked upon as anything that is wrong or evil, almost, as I say, entertainment. But quite frankly, uh, the question comes down to, do you want to engage yourself with God's kingdom, a kingdom of light, or do you want to engage yourself with Satan's kingdom, described in the Bible as a kingdom of darkness? The question is, is yours, and it's up to you. Absolutely. In fact, just over in chapter 5, verse 7, it lists a whole range of things we can't participate in, and certainly sorcery, witchcraft, those kinds of things would be included. And the Apostle Paul says in verse 7, chapter 5, Therefore do not be partakers with them. So that doesn't mean we should watch them, we shouldn't be a part of them, we shouldn't include them in our life. Look, get your mind wrapped around God's kingdom. Uh, put your, your, your time, your life there. It's going to be far more productive. It's going to have a far greater benefit to your life in the long run. Avoid any of the works of darkness. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.